Okay. Back to Isopool Creek Lodge, but first, I wanted to check if that was a piece of photo I could pick up, which it's not. Any piece of photo here? No, all I can examine is that clock head. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Now let's play Ice Princess again with Freddy. The battle for the kingdom of the Snow Princess begins! You need to play it with her a couple of times in order to get a letter from her. Oh wow, I'm getting good at this. Take that, Freddy! Ha! Ho ho! <laughs> Yeehaw! Um, insert joyous occasion sound noise here. Oh! Ah! Oh! Ah! Take that! Thanks. Okay, twice is enough for now. Do, 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 do. And this, this leads, is this the Trapper Dan's Needle? Oh, that's the ice skating pond, which I showed you earlier. Now let's go back inside the lodge and see if our guests have returned. Wow, that took up an hour? Okay, it took me an hour to play Snow Princess. Well, I did go to Skookum Ridge. Ah, warm again. I did go to Skookum Ridge. So left me a note. Oh, good. Where's the note? I can't see. Oh, there it is. Hold on a second. Ah! There we go! And is it the note from Freddy? Yes, it is! Nancy, I really like playing snowball fights with you, but I'm afraid you won't want to play with me anymore. If you play with me and win, I'll give you my top secret way I can stay out in the cold for so long. Freddy. This is important later on in the game when it gets really cold. You need to learn how to survive outside in the cold for so long. So I'll show you that in a second, but in the meantime we need to call the avalanche patrol. Let them know there's no avalanche in Skookum Ridge. Then I'll talk to the guests. La 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 la. What's your location? Actually, I'm calling on behalf of Ollie Randall. He wanted me to tell you that there hasn't been any avalanche activity out at Skookum Ridge. I was wondering when we were going to hear from him. Thanks for the report. No problem. Hmm, I suppose I should call people. Let's call the sheriff. Hi, this is Nancy Drew at the Icicle Creek Lodge. We met the other night. Oh, yeah, that uh, bright kid from the States. Uh, what do you need? Well, I... I found that clock face, too. Left it there because any fingerprints on it would have melted away along with... All right. You can go poking around on your own like that. There could still be explosives lying around. A plastic explosive, and that's what blew up the bunkhouse. Is C4 hard to get? Yeah. Uh, the hotel, Yanni Volkstaya, he says someone threw a bomb at him while he was out skiing. Well, did he see who it was? He didn't see anything except the explosion, which apparently... No. Why are you telling me this instead of him? Because he's a cross-country skiing champion, and he's convinced it was one of his competitors. Apparently the governments of the people he... I just thought you should know that his life may be in danger. Uh-huh. Did you learn anything else from the lab tests? I'm just going to zoom through all explosion? this. Nope. Unfortunately, that bunkhouse wasn't particular. Do you need some kind of permit to hunt wolves around here? No, ma'am. 
You mean Ollie Randall can go after that white wolf that's been hanging around outside the lodge and just shoot it? Hmm. That's not so very how nice. That doesn't seem right. Well, the animals wolves go after don't have a problem with it. I can guarantee you. Thanks for your help. Have a good day. All right. Maybe I should do more phone calls. Okay, I'll do phone calls until the uh, video reaches about seven minutes. Tino Balducci, haven't called him in a while. I haven't called him, period. Hey, Nancy. I was wondering when your number there was going to show up and call her ID. This... In fact, Tino, I'm a little surprised you're still in law enforcement, considering some of the unethical, if not illegal, stunts you pulled back then. Well, you'll be happy to know that I'm working on something that'll... Nothing, really. Just thought I'd call and kind of check in. All right. That was fast. Let me see if I can call him, if there's anything I can talk about. Try again. Calling him again. Hey, Nancy. What you need? Yeah, I need to ask him this. Friend of a friend heard about all the problems she was having up there and immediately figured she could use my crime-solving expertise. I think that'll do it. Mm-hmm. you need help, just give me a call. Let's call Chantal. Do-do-do. Do 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 Nickelodeon. Hello? Hi Chantal, it's Nancy again. Did you know that some photos are missing from the display case in the lobby? Really? Last I looked, they were all there. I think And she doesn't know about phone that. Her damn found is missing from its case too. First the accident, now someone's stealing from me? Is it true that you promised Ollie a raise, but you haven't given it to him yet? All right, so that makes Mr. Ollie even more suspicious. He wants a raise. And he hasn't gotten one, so that's that's motive, right? Kinda, I guess. Eh, whatever, it's close enough. Now let's see if anybody's here to talk to. Guadalupe, finally! Guadalupe, come, 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 talk to us. We want to talk to you. Well, who are you? I'm Elsa's replacement. Oh, the new maid, thank goodness. I was wondering how much longer the owner expected us to endure these conditions and still pay full price. Oh. How long has Elsa been gone? Two days, I think. Maybe even three. I don't know. It's all a blur of dirt and dust and soap residue. Hmm. My name is Guadalupe Comillo. My friends call me Lupe. <laughs> Lupe is like Latin for wolf. So, so why that's she a... call you Lupe? That's I why she tells so you to call her Lupe. For one thing, I don't even know your name. My name's Nancy Drew. It's a clever linguistic Two joke, because here. the name of the First, game is the White Wolf. clock is missing from my room. I don't necessarily need another one. I just don't want to be charged for that one. Seeing as I have no idea where it went to... Uh-oh. Was that the alarm clock? Clean my room first. It'll hardly take you any time at all. Especially compared to the other rooms. The other guests are all men. Single men. Yeah. Well, I'm happy to report that I've already cleaned your room. Us single men Excellent. are very dirty. We're very messy, very unclean. I don't know why single women actually bother going out on dates with us, to be quite honest. Oh, and uh, about the alarm clock she mentioned? I hate to sound nosy, Could but that be the uh, clock doing? that we found in the explosion birds. ruins? I'm watching birds. Oh, she's and watching that's birds. what I am, you see, a bird watcher. Sometimes I go outside and watch, and what okay. kind of birds do you see here? In the short time I've been here, I've seen hawks... Eagles, Orioles, Cardinals, Jays, nothing truly rare, but to a wildlife lover such as myself, seeing them in such a spectacular setting is thrilling nonetheless. Have you met the really? other guests? Good. I bumped into them at one time or another, yes. I don't spend all my time in front of this window. 
Mm -hmm. That yawny fellow, he's very talented, but extremely intense. The older man, Bill Kessler, he's no deep thinker, but he's nice enough. But the other... Anyone that intent on destroying something as glorious as that wolf is... Have you ever seen the wolf that's been hanging out around here? Mm-hmm. No. Uh, not that I'm looking for it, of course. Yanni occasionally skis by. Me? <laughs> I'm just a maid, remember? But I did find a bunch of tracks beyond the pond. You could try following them and maybe see the wolf that way. Yeah. Maybe I will. Have you told anyone else what you just told me? No. Good. Don't. You see, I'd like to see this wolf for myself. So it'll just be our little secret, all right? All right. Well, I'd better stop bugging you and get to work.